Hello Orchid friends, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to look at my Catacetum type orchids. If this is your first time watching my video, my channel is all about orchids, from what orchids I have, how I grow them, my thoughts on certain orchid topics, to what orchids in my collection are blooming, etc. So if you want to follow along my orchid hobby adventure, please consider subscribing to my channel and turn on that notification icon. So let's start with this one. This one was the one that bloomed it over the winter time. And after the bloom finished, I noticed that at the base of its strongest or longest um, pseudobulb, let's just call it that because I don't know the, the correct term, th the base was kind of shriveling and it was getting dark and it's, it was getting soft as well. So I suspect that there is some kind of infection due to virus or fungal. So I basically, you know, had to do something. So I cut it open and I realized that they were something, it, it, it was just getting dark. Uh, it was like black in, in the middle of the, the pseudobulb. So I just kept cutting it up, up, up until there is no more discoloration. And so all I had left was basically like the top third of the pseudobulb. And so I decided to put that into um, se semi-hydro setup because at the time, it was also giving me a new growth. As you see here, it was developing, but, and it also had some roots, and that's what I put some sphagnum moss on top just so that I can help it long to, to hydrate. But as it grew, I noticed that it was developing fl <laughs> two buds. Th what you see here is basically um, the photos of its two, two flower buds. But the one on the right, or the one on top that you see um, was getting yellow and eventually that one kind of blasted and the second one continued to develop and i think it made sense because it's such a small growth to and, and to be able to sustain two big bloom out of that small new growth i don't think that that was realistic in fact i didn't think that flowering at this stage was even possible but it could be because that the plant detected that its survival was in danger um, due to the surgery that I performed, right? So it had to bloom to, to hopefully to be able to pass on or propagate, right? Um, and the bloom, as you can see, is not very extensive. And also it was missing a flower petal and then it has double lip. So it's, it, to me, this is kind of a disformed um, flower that shouldn't have happened. Um, and here, the video clip really is just to show show you in a different way to to to, to show you the flower. Um, it was okay; it's doing okay still. It's just trying to put put out more roots, but you know the flower just doesn't look the same as the last flower that it it had. You know the fully extended flower. It was still pretty fragrant, I have to tell you, but you know you see how where my index finger is you know it's got really got kind of like two lips and then it's missing a pe um, definitely a flower petal somewhere because um, um, last flower I took I took a look at the picture and compared that against this one I could just tell the major difference so this one is kind of what I call the accident flower out of this orchid because I did not expect this orchid to bloom at this time especially it's right after its regular bloom blooming and so the new growth is still pretty small and like I said I put the smack sphagnum moss on top just so that the roots can start to take moisture from the top versus from the very bottom of the cup because um, it's now in semi hydro because um, the what's left the suitable has no root so I did not know what to do with it and I thought I might as well use semi hydro to provide additional moisture around but then because it's above water um, the, the these beads these hydrocorns can kind of you know raise it so that way it's airy but then on top there is sphagnum moss to provide additional moisture that's really the best way that I could think of I don't know for those of you who have more experience maybe you can recommend me on what to do um, so yeah this is really basically how it's doing at the moment I'll keep you posted as more progress is observed 
Now let's look at the other three orchids. At the end of March, they were starting to putting out more roots, and the two on the right were growing, were leafing out basically. And this is the time that I started to gradually give it some moisture every week, um, not completely soaking them or anything, just some moisture to start moist, mo you know, moisten the media. And then come came April. The two on the right here were really leafing out, really taking off, and the roots were also really, really growing. So I basically gave them a lot more water, and and now end of May, you know, they are all leafing out. So I basically soak them every week, um, and when I give fertilizer, I use quarter strength now. But I think in July or in June and July, I will start to give them. 50% um, or half strength of the recommended dosage um, and they really like water based on my research so I'm still currently keeping them in sphagnum moss for the summer because I think semi-hydro or I mean it's too late to repot them right now so I prefer just to, to leave them in its current media which is sphagnum moss and and depending on what i see for 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 their progress this year i may repot them next year but for now i think this is where they'll stay and if you're new to orchid hobby or if you're new to this type of orchid i can share it with you and this is based on my research and my friend's experience this kind of orchid really loves moisture and love love fertilizer so um, you know make sure you give them enough water and more fertilizer after all they really have to grow to become mature to flower in just a matter of couple months unlike phalaenopsis orchid etc so make sure you do that accordingly so this is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to get more orchid related videos from my channel, please consider subscribing and turn on the notification. With that said, I want to wish every one of you happy growing and I will talk to you in my next video. Ciao.